In this video, you'll learn how to connect and set up a solar sync sensor on a Pro-C P2C400 controller. Solar sync is a weather-based sensor that works in conjunction with Hunter controllers to adjust the seasonal adjustment percentage value. This results in shorter or longer run times. The solar sync sensor accomplishes this by measuring the evapotranspiration, solar radiation, and temperature at the site. It then sends these values to the controller so it can modify the station's run times for the day. The solar sync sensor also features a rain and freeze sensor that halts irrigation in rainy or freezing conditions. Follow along to learn how to install the solar sync sensor, program its functions, and make future adjustments. When using a solar sync sensor with the Pro C controller, You'll notice that the Solar Sync programming menu is one of the dedicated dial positions on the controller. The Solar Sync sensor is available in the hardwired version and a wireless version. The wireless version comes with two pieces the actual sensor, which will be mounted outside, and a wireless receiver, which will be connected to the controller. Both units come addressed from the factory for instant communication. However, it's a good idea to initialize communication manually upon connection of the sensor receiver to verify proper signal transmission. Before attempting to connect anything to the controller, be sure to turn off the power to the controller. Connect either the green or black wire coming from the sensor or sensor receiver. In the case of a wireless sensor to the sensor terminal, it'll be marked SEN on the controller. Connect the other wire from the sensor or sensor receiver to the COM terminal. Make sure to leave the metal jumper from SEN2 to COM in its place when using a solar sync sensor for the top SEN input. If you're using a hard wire sensor, you can mount the sensor in the field. However, if you're using the wireless sensor, it's a good practice to verify proper communication between the receiver and the sensor before completing the installation. With the receiver connected to the controller, turn the power on to the controller. You'll notice that the LED on the sensor receiver will activate, indicating that it's in search mode. Press the spindle on the sensor and hold it until the receiver blinks four times. This will indicate that both units are communicating. Once you've verified proper communication, you can mount the sensor. When installing the sensor, the location you choose is crucial for achieving optimal performance of the solar sync sensor. It needs to be placed in an area where it can receive full sun and rainfall without getting wet from sprinkler spray. Once the sensor is properly installed and connected, you can test the rain and freeze functions without having to pour water over the sensor. To do this, turn on a program by pressing and holding the right arrow button. When the stations are running, Press and hold the spindle on the sensor. This should trigger the system to shut down irrigation. After ensuring proper sensor operation, it's time to program station run times, as well as the solar sync function on the controller. When using your Pro-C controller with a solar sync sensor, it's crucial that the station run times are programmed for the hottest month of the year and that the seasonal adjustment value is set to 100%. Turning the dial to the solar sync position enables the sensor function. At this point, you'll notice two numbers on the screen, one that represents the region number and another that represents the water adjustment. To choose the region, You'll need to consult the table included in the Solar Sync Sensor Owner's Manual to determine which region best represents your area. There are three ways to choose the region. The first and most reliable method is based on the average evapotranspiration, or ET, rate for the hottest month of the year in your area. You should be able to find this information on the internet. The second method is based on the average temperature for the hottest month of the year in your area. The third method is based on a general description of the area where you live. Choose your region using the plus or minus button. The next number you'll see is the water adjustment valve. This is a 1 to 10 scale that allows you to fine tune your system in case it's under or over watering. During installation, it's recommended that you leave this number set at 5 and adjust it as needed later. When installing the solar sink sensor, 
programming a delay is recommended. This keeps the sensor from making changes to the seasonal adjustment percentage before it collects sufficient data. To program a solar sync sensor delay, start with the dial in the run position. Press and hold the plus button and turn the dial to solar sync. From this position, you could program a delay from 1 to 99 days. We'll program 3 days. Once the delay period elapses, the solar sync sensor will start making adjustments to the seasonal adjustment values. You'll want to monitor your landscape to ensure that it's receiving the right amount of water. If you notice that all your zones are too wet or too dry, you can adjust the water adjustment percentage to a lower or higher value. If adjusting the water adjustment value is not enough, the region you originally chose may not be the most appropriate. In this case, you may want to consider changing it. On the other hand, if only a couple of zones seem to be too dry or too wet, then it's likely the run times for those zones that need to be adjusted. As you can see, integrating a solar sink sensor into your system does not take a lot of effort, and the water savings are substantial. For detailed information about the solar sink sensor or Pro C controller, consult their respective owner manuals at hunterindustries.com.